What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 14 of my Manchester United career mode. Today, lads, is a massive episode. We've got a little FA Cup match up against Tramia Rovers, which we're going to sim. Uh, not too big on that one. But anyways, lads, after that, we've got Radamel Falcao's comeback game, which I'm not too sure what game it's going to happen in, but it's definitely going to be happening in this episode. We're playing Swansea, we're playing Sunderland, we're playing Newcastle. Big games in this episode, lads. It's really going to set our season for the rest of this career, mate. But anyways, lads, let's get to the FA Cup. All right, Tranmere Rovers. Let's be having ya. We're going to send this one today, lads. Please, no injuries. Please, no injuries. Please, no injuries. 5-0, Chris Smalling. You know, it's a good game with Chris Smalling scoring about uh... So I just got this email from the board, and they've just said... We wanted to reach out to you to inform you that despite all the concern about the performances of the football club, you shall continue to be the helm of the club for the foreseeable future. We understand that you are under a lot of media pressure and we want to assure you that you are considered as an invaluable member of the Manchester United family. Alright, what they're trying to say in English is, uh, alright, you're doing not bad, but at any minute, the second you f*** up, you are out the door, sunshine. So, uh, the board are very, very hard on FIFA 15. They're not like they used to be. Lads, I've seen people get sacked before when Manchester United do not make top four. We have to make top four, lads, or else we're getting sacked. I don't want to get sacked. You don't want me to get sacked. We all don't want to get sacked. We have to finish top four. All right, lads, the first game of this episode, we're at home at Old Trafford to the Mackhams. Should be half decent. They knocked us out of the Capital One Cup in real life last year. We owe them one. There's 13 games to go in this season, lads. So pretty much every game from now on in is a massive thrill. Must win games. Please, lads, come on. Don't let me down today. Today, we need to pick up three points. Come on. We can do it, lads. All right, here we go. Come on, United. Big game today. Let's go. Why? Matter. Strootman. Strootman. Strootman with a little bit of room. Oh, what a save from Pantilimon. All right, Di Maria. Tell you what, matter has got some room. Rooney, give it to Rooney. Strootman. Look at that. They have just hoofed that out of there. Oh, he's ripped me. Glenn Johnson's ripped me a new one. Glenn Johnson, no. Oh, my gosh. Why do I call him Glenn Johnson for? Adam Johnson. <laughs> Daily Blind, Rooney, Rooney, come on Waza, Rooney, have oh, you missed that? Oh Waza, oh no, come on lads, we're giving him way too much room, oh my god, Connor Wickham, how's he missed that? Adnan Yanaze, fresh off the bench, Von Strootman, look at this, Carrick, 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 Michael, oh he's won a free kick, well done, well done, we'll take that. Alright, we've got the free kick, 29 yards out. This is Wayne Rooney territory. Step up like a captain, son, you can do it. Yes! Get in, Waza! Oh my god, I've just overreacted there, but uh, we have not been playing well whatsoever. We do not deserve this. Wayne Rooney, free kick. <laughs> Oh my god, I just got way too excited there. I was just not expecting that to go in. Rooney, some curve, some pace, some little ticker about his heart, mate. He knows what's going on. Wayne Rooney, got to love him. Come on, lads, surely. Look at Pantillimon, he had no hope. Come on, lads, let's hold on now. Yes, record that shit. Oh no, Smalling's just giving it away in the worst spot. The hair. Oh, thank you. Come on, lads, get stuck in. All right, we know what's coming. We know the overball cross is coming in. Oh, what a save the hair. Everywhere you go, always take the hair with you. All right, lads, come on, get this corner. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very, very, very much. Van Percy, look at this. Rooney. So, what, he's got some space. Can he find Yanizai fresh off the bench? This is the greatest company in the world! Do you even know what I mean about this guy when I say he is unbelievable? I'm telling you, lads, I'm not over-exaggerating here. He is a contender for player of the season for us. Fresh off the bench, comes off, kills the game. 
no hope, three points in the bag, Sunderland, how does that feel? And Nanyanaze, you are a star. Oh, come on lads, don't get sloppy here. Don't go, oh, it's off the post, don't get, oh my god, how has everyone missed that? Oh, thank you referee for blowing a full time whistle. There we go lads, three points in the bag, done and dusted. 12 games to go now. Oh, that was such a relief. Sunderland, all credit to them. They played fantastic in that game. Oh. Alright guys, the next game is against Newcastle at St. James's Park. And to be fair, they're doing not bad in the league. Here we go lads at St. James's Park. Probably one of the best stadiums in the Premier League. Mate, it is a fantastic uh, venue. I, I, honestly, lads, it hosted uh, the Olympics in 2012's marvellous stadium. But Newcastle, in this game, lads, it's going to be difficult. They're seventh. Mate, they're like two points behind City. They're doing absolutely fantastic. It's not going to be easy. All right, lads. Radamel Falcao to start for Manchester United. It's great to have him back. Let's go. Rooney, look at this, puts in Radamel Falcao. Goes for the chip! Run him out! Oh! <laughs> no! He hasn't! Nah, bro! Nah! You just didn't do that! Oh my word! That. I don't know, is that better than Yenna's eyes? I think it is! I think that's better than Adnan's! Oh! My word. Goal of the season. Contender. Oh, mate. He had no right to score from there. Oh, David De Gea. Look at that. He, he knows it. He knows that's a contender for goal of the season. And now Falcao in his first game back. I'm so sorry, lads, if I get so excited. But just have, have a look at this. Look at the angle from Radamel Falcao. He had no right to score that. Oh my word, what a goal. And yes, record that shit. What a way to come back after three months out. Oh my word, Radamel Falcao. It's good to have you back, son. Mohamed Sissoko. Kabbalah. Oh no, he's found Papa Cissé, 1-1. One, one. What a goal. What a goal. Remy Kabbalah, we just can't give him that much room. And he just pinpointed Papa Cissé right in the forehead. Well-deserved goal. All right, it's all square. Oh, lovely. What a run. Di Maria. Angel Di Maria. Oh, mate, that should have been 2-1. What a tackle there. Come on, Rafael. That's your spot. Where you're meant to be. Where is everyone? Oh, my God. Rojo. Daily Blind. You're meant to be getting that. Daily Blind. Oh, my God. I thought I gave away a penalty there. We are literally holding on here. Teote. Oh, my gosh. What a relief. Oh, well done, Falcao. There's no help whatsoever. Oh, what a mistake. Daily Blind, 2-1. Underrated Daily Blind does it again for us, lads. Get in. I've said it so many times this season. He is the most underrated player, lads. I gave a riffs for Strootman today, lads. Daily Blind steps up. Not only is he defensively sound, he can score goals too. Happy days. That's with his right foot as well. Mate. Come on, lads. Switch on. Look at all the room they got. Oh, no way. I thought Ciote scored there. I really did. Oh, no. Remy Cabela. Don't give him space. Oh, my word. Papa Cissé. What a save to Haya. He is unreal, Dave. Oh, no. I'm worried. I'm worried. Remy Cabela. Too much room. Teote, Jack Colback, the Ginger Pilo. Come on, lads. Jonas Gutierrez. Oh my gosh, come on. Someone make a tackle. Colback again. Come on, lads. Please, please, please. What a cross. That's gone over everyone. Head it out. Head it out. Oh my gosh, get it out. Thank you, Rooney. Now, tell you what, we are on the attack. Can we go over one more? Oh, we can. Valencia fresh off the bench. Antonio, who's that at the back post? Di Maria, back to Falcao. Oh, man, I wanted to cross it to Falcao. Oh, gosh, this game is end-to-end. -end. 
There we go, lads. The referee blows the whistle. Another three points. And again, tough game. Newcastle were just dominating this game. It's a very, very difficult league this season. FIFA 15, I'm just really enjoying it. I'm, the struggle is real. I'm just grinding out these results. And to be honest, if it wasn't for that worldie in the first half from Falcao, we, we probably wouldn't have got three points today. But he did. And we move on. All right, lads. In the final game of the episode, we are away to Swansea. It's going to be hard. We just beat them at home on the opening day of the season, if you remember. Not going to be easy. I just presume today Swansea is just going to have a lot of the ball, just the way they play. And to be honest, they're playing really, really well under Gary Monk. But uh, we're going to have to play on the counter-attack, playing 4-3-3. And uh, just going to have to use our pace on the wings with Adnan Yanaze and uh, Angel Di Maria. All right, let's go. Come on, United. Rooney. Rooney. Oh, look at the room we've got on this wing. Come on, Strootman. Picks out Adnan Yenize. Adnan. Not many options. Just go for it. The way he's been playing this season, I was expecting maybe. Just trying my luck right there. You never know. Carrick Strootman. What a ball. Come on, Di Maria. Look at this, lads. Let's not go to waste here. Come on, Angel Di Maria. Puts it in. Wayne Rooney. Oh, Andres Lindegaard. We sold him to Swansea. Di Maria on the wing. Angel Di Maria. Di Maria. Few tackers. Round the back. And now Oh, my word. The two wingers linking up together. Gets in. That was all about Angel Di Maria. Mate, the roulette round the back. And Adnan Yanezai, his positioning is just marvelous. Get in. Got the lead 1 0. His name is Adam. He comes from Belgium. Yanazai, Yanazai, Yanazai. Carrick, you don't want to be back killing it right there. So Gerton, John Joe Shelby. Oh my word, Michael Carrick. Don't do that again, lad. Carrick, Carrick. Can you put in? Oh, you can. Van Percy. Oh, we're in the back. I should have played it. Carrick, we still got it. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. Now we do. <laughs> Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Montero, what a ball. Bonnie. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, my word. I thought that was in. I was just about to say, Bonnie never misses those. And he has. Come on, Nathan Dyer versus Raphael. Raphael, this kid is just immense. What's happening? Jones, why is he limping? Oh my word, if we had a conceded there. Phil Jones, oh my. Stop mucking about Phil Jones. Oh, mate, Phil Jones, you are a lucky boy. Williams, I don't mind him having it. He can have it all day long. And go around hell over the back. Oh, get it out. Strootman. All right, lads, let's counter attack. Valencia, use that pace. Antonio Valencia over the top. Look at this. That Percy. Oh my god, Valencia. What kind of pass was that? There we go, lads. Got all three points in all three games today. And all three of them, Sunderland, Newcastle, and Swansea, have all been so difficult. And I've been extremely, extremely lucky in all three of them. But uh, let's check out the league table, lads. Would you have a look at that, guys? Look how close that top four is. Yes, we are still in fourth position, but now, lads, we are only four points off the title, and we are still yet to play Liverpool, Arsenal, and Chelsea again. That is going to be unbelievable. Yes, it looks like top four. We're going to make it, guys. There's a 10-point gap between us and Tottenham, who are fifth, and Man City are just way, way off the pace there. But guys, we do play Liverpool in the next episode as well. And we got Tottenham in the FA Cup. So lads, next episode's going to be massive. Make sure you tune in to see it right here. Subscribe to the Curtis 7 YouTube channel. Make sure, lads, you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The link is in the description. Get your comments in below, lads. What are your predictions for this season? I know I said top four is my prediction. Uh, this whole season, lads, but I tell you what, we're only four points off the title. I had no expectations of winning the title this season, and I still don't right now. But I tell you what, four points off the pace with ten games to go. But until next episode, lads, 
I'm your boy Killer7. Take care and peace.